Hey everyone, in this video, I'm showing you how to update the firmware for the new Godox X3S N or C trigger on a Mac from version 100 to version 1.09. First, let's open a web browser and head over to Godox website, godox.com. Under the support tab, you will find a section for firmware. Click on that. On the left side of the page, look for the firmware launcher installer. Scroll down a bit and you'll see options for the Godox G3 launcher v1.1 with separate versions for macOS and Windows. Choose the one that matches your operating system. Once the download is complete, minimize your browser and head over to your downloads folder. Unzip the download file. Now go back to the browser tab where you were on the Godoc website. In the search bar, type X3 and hit enter. You'll see several firmware options for different X3 triggers. Select the one that matches your specific model or for your camera. Once the download is finished, head back to your downloads folder and unzip the downloaded firmware file. You can now delete the original zip files if you want to save some space. For a Mac users, you might see a message saying Godox IAP cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. Don't worry, this is normal. Just head over to your system settings and select security and privacy. Scroll down to here under security, then go back and cancel the message. And then you'll see another message saying Godox IAP was blocked. This time select open anyway and enter your administrator password when, when prompted. Open. Now that the app is open, it's called Godox Firmware Updater v1.1. Click open file and choose the bin file from the firmware. Don't unzip it. You should see the file name displayed like x3sv1.09 app bin. All right, let's get the trigger ready. Grab a USB cable and connect it to your computer. With the trigger turned on, connect the other end of the cable to the trigger. The app should show device connected on the screen. One important thing to note, you might see some red error messages appear on the screen. As long as you see device connected, you can ignore those errors. On the trigger itself, swipe down from the top and select settings. Scroll down and tap device info. Here you can see the model number and the current firmware version. In my case, it's already v1.09, but it's okay. I can overwrite the firmware if needed. On the trigger, select update, and you'll see upgrading message with an up arrow. Now back to the app. As you can see right after, I got the red error message, device disconnected. It's okay, because I also got back the device connected again. Click update as long as you have the BIN file opened in the app and that the device connected is displayed. Then the green progression bar should move on the app. The update will finish with a success message on the app saying update device success. You can then remove the cable and turn on the trigger. You can now go back and check the device info. And you should see the latest firmware version. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Do come back for the next video.